For more on that, we're now joined by Professor Ephraim Inbar. He's the president of the Jerusalem Institute for Strategy and Security. Thank you so much for being with us, uh, Professor Inbar. Uh, first and foremost, I want to ask you, we have not seen any images coming in from that area yet. What do we know about what happened there? We really don't know much uh, about what uh, really happened. We know only the number of casualties. And uh, it is possible that uh, those uh, attacks uh, were a result of uh, ISIS activities uh, or uh, some uh, American uh, uh, drones that uh, the American uh, authorities uh, refused to take responsibility for. Could... Uh, after all, uh, we know that there are countries in the region that uh, do uh, attack uh, Iranian or Iranian leaked targets without taking formally responsibility for uh, such deeds. So to follow up on that, uh, if the U.S. denies any involvement, does that mean that uh, Israel stands behind the attack? It, it, it is possible. We, we've acted uh, in Iraq uh, before. Uh, I think also the United States has acted uh, with drones uh, against Iranian-linked uh, targets. And uh, there is, of course, the possibility that cells of uh, still active uh, ISIS uh, troops uh, are uh, trying to further destabilize uh, the Shiite uh, regime uh, in, uh, in Iraq. You know, only uh, uh, two weeks ago was uh, the anniversary for the assassination of uh, Qasem, Qasem Soleimani, uh, and then tomorrow is the inauguration of uh, Joe Biden. So very sensitive times. but perhaps as usual in the Middle East. Do you think any of those events this month have something to do with this uh, attack? Of course it is uh, possible, but usually uh, I think that uh, uh, most uh, military events are connected uh, to uh, opportunity or intelligence, having, having intelligence for uh, uh, making sure that those attacks are uh, successful. So it is probably connected more to operational constraints, operational uh, concerns, than to political uh, events. Uh, I uh, would venture to say that uh, if those events are connected uh, to revenge on part of Iran, they would have uh, boasted about it, and this didn't happen. Okay. Professor Efaim Inbawa, president of the Jerusalem Institute for Strategy and Security, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome.